everybody, welcome to another episode of Widgets and Wonders. This is my show, but great products from small companies. Now today we're gonna to take a look at some Batman stuff from Muse on Minis. They got some new buildings, um, some accessories for them, like fire escapes, some tokens, some awesome deployment markers, and then even some card holders for your crew. Um, there's a whole variety of stuff, it's all pre-painted, and this stuff was just super glued together and thrown on the table. Uh, to, to fill up the board basically. So I've, thro I've laid it out on an urban mat, three by three, um, or like literally urban mat. Uh, for you guys to take a look at it, I got some of my Batman models down there too, for you to check it out. So here it is, some of the great pre-colored terrain from Muse on Minis. Um, so what we have here is we have the two different building sets and you can either make a three-story building or you can make a two-story building and a one-story building. And then separately, you can buy packs of three of these. So one pack of the um, stair like the uh, the gantries, the fire escapes, will do one building basically. And these just clip on the side so you can move them around if you want. They're all in pre-colored, double-sided MDF, and it's just popping super glue. So everything here, I just Gorilla glued together um, after popping it off the frame, uh, and then touched up the edges with a Sharpie just to, to basically cover up any of the marks where they are um, popped out. It's like this little stuff right here. Is, uh, is just covered up with a Sharpie. Uh, so there's two different styles. There's one in a gray and one in a, um, uh, like a brownstone. And what's really cool is he actually took the time to mask and then gloss the windows. So all the windows are reflective. Really simple thing to do, but like what a nice touch on the buildings themselves. So each building kit, you can build two buildings out of it. It's about enough for a, like a simple three by three table. So I would say that if you're looking to quickly fill a Batman table, one of each kit plus two of the um, the what should we call it? It's the fire escape sets. We'll we'll be ready to rock and roll. And there's a kit of the street furniture, um, and you get three lamp posts and three of the manhole covers. So it's exactly enough for one player basically to do up their uh, their street furniture. There's a kit for these, which is really clever. So these are your card holders, and I've got them set up here so you can see them, cards in. And there's two inserts, they don't come glued in. So you choose, do you wanna have little dice, or do you wanna use the big, cool Batman dice and stuff? You have a spot for your upgrade cards, spot for all of your damage, and whatever other effect tokens you wanna put on. So this could be like your stuns and knockdowns and stuff, or you can put them over here, and you can have your effects like knockdown and KO'd and stuff on this side. Um, super duper handy. Then you have these acrylic double-sided deployment zone markers for all the wacky deployment zone stuff. You get eight of the like edge ones, and these are designed for when you're doing cross deployments, um, how, like putting them out for when you're going across the edge. Uh, you have these ones for marking corners, and these ones for marking lines. Super duper easy to, to like delineate your deployment zones. You've got some great stun and blood markers. They're double sided, so you can easily just flip them once you put them on the models. And then you get a mixed pack of objective markers, um, but here they are all put together as well which are ammo, some riddles, some joker gas, uh, some titan doses, some loot, and they come with double-sided, double-marked bases. So if the opponent puts one down, you we've marked them basically in different colors here. So each side has their own sort of like differentiated. And the ones that can be claimed by anybody like Ace Chemicals um, are neutral, right? So loot's obviously can be picked up by anybody, but you can if you need to know whose is what, you can have them uh, sort of like different colors. Then you got KO'd and knocked down, and they're, they're again, they're double sided, they flip, and you've got Titan doses and um, ammo counters for putting on your cards. So I've got a few of them out already, so you can see when you put them down, they can just sit as uh, as marked basically whether or not you've used your ammo or your Titan dose. So you either put them on, I think what I'll probably end up doing is, is putting them on at the beginning of the game and pulling them off, just like Titan doses, so I can see whether they've been used up or not. Uh, and that's it, that's, it's basically everything you'd possibly need to play a game of Batman. They've got a cool new double-sided ready-to-go accessory, and literally all I did to any of this stuff was glue it together. Uh, and it's ready to rock and roll. We played a couple games that you'll see in the near future. Um, I played some Brave and the Bold versus Two-Face, and I played some um, Joker Crew versus Bane, which you'll see coming up shortly. So there it is, some great new pre-colored Batman training accessories from Muse on Minis. All right, so there we go, another episode of Widgets and Wonders. And now if you know of a great product from a small company that you think deserves more attention, you can have them email me at grillminiaturegames at gmail.com or Facebook message me at facebook.com slash out of the basement into the streets and I'll put it in front of as many people as possible. Uh, if you're interested in this stuff, it'll all be linked below in the video description. And until next time, I'm Ash. Have a great day.
I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Grid Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.